Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series, and in this sub series, we will learn how to use background worker component in C Sharp to do a background task. We can say uh, how to support long running task using background worker component and we will also see what is the use of this background worker component and what are all the benefit you will get when you process the long running task using this component so in this video we will um, learn the basics of the uh, background worker component and what is the need for it We know that Windows Form is a event-based application. Event-based application in the sense, so let's consider you have a login form. It has a two text field and OK and cancel button. So event-based in the sense, uh, user can navigate in any way. Any way in the sense, there are two text component, I mean two text UI element and one button for ok or login and one button for cancel so we do not know which component user will interact they may first enter the username or they may enter the password or after entering the username and password they can either click login or they can click cancel so that's why we say it's a event based application and the event can originate in any way Anyway, in the mean, uh, that means the there is no predefined sequence here. User can navigate any control, so that's why we call it as a event-based application. Windows Form is a event-based application. So the application waits for UI events. That means once you launch the form, let's say this is the form. Once you launch the form, the application will be in a running state and it will keep on watching the UI event that can occur on any of these UI elements. So application waits for UI events and if any UI event occurs, it will call the event handler. So the event handler will either implemented by the uh, programmer of this um, uh, form or if a user doesn't define any event that will get handled by the c sharp framework or c sharp runtime clr runtime itself say for example here you are typing a letter a so first you kept a focus here on the text box and you are typing a the character a appears here in the text box so that means something is happening right when uh, keyboard event is triggered by the user the precedent key is displayed here key character we can say a to z 0 to 9 some special character whatever it is so here we doesn't implement any of the event but still the character appears here that means the key press event is handled by the c sharp runtime itself and that makes use of uh, dis displaying the typed in character similarly when you press down the push button the appearance will change from raised to flattened state when you press down your mouse cursor so here we are not retrying this ok or cancel button so the press down event so who is handling that so c sharp runtime is handling it all right so the mouse press and release will produce a click event and if it is not handled by us it will get handled by the c sharp runtime and if we provide a handler then that handler will get called so the application waits for ui events whatever the event is here key press or here it is button pressed or mouse press mouse release mouse press and release together constitute a click event right and if you want to provide a handler you can provide a handler and your handler get called So the UI handlers run in a thread. So the U 
so the ui handlers runs in a thread let's say application is running here continuously and it will wait for the ui once and there will be a thread that will be running continuously and we call this as a ui thread so when user produces some event that event will get dispatched to the thread and if there is a handler that handler will get called so likewise if you see button press login button pressed if that is handled in the form um, the ui thread try to dispatch yeah, the event to the form and if there is a associated handler it will call that handler code and if it is not handled it will look for the default handler which is provided by the c sharp runtime itself or the ui component class implementation so there also the c sharp runtime or c sharp framework can provide a handler so what you have to know here is all the ui events will run in a thread ui thread so if there are two handler or one is for ok button and one is for a cancel button there are two handlers that runs in a ui thread so when one handler is going on the other handler will wait so here it's an application right application is managing this thread and it knows there is already a event which is under the progress so once this event is complete it will dispatch the next one so if user clicked ok or if user clicked cancel and do ok uh, in a uh, subsequent manner or in a quick manner then it will be dispatched like this all right so the events will be maintained here by the application and the application will dispatch it to the ui thread and the ui thread will take care of running the handler in a sequential way so there is only one ui thread so the operation will run in sequence here once one is completed other one will uh, takes care of uh, the uh, response back to the event produced by the user so this nature ui handlers run in a thread so this is where we make use of background worker component and we will see that uh, when we progress through this uh, sub series when one ui handler runs other will wait that means they won't run in parallel so this is what called the event queue so event queue will be maintained and um, from there the event will be dispatched one by one once handler completes the second event will be dispatched by the application so because of this a yeah, long running task in a long running task windows won't respond till task quits or finishes or cancelled whatever it is say for example uh, let's say this is our uh, form and there is one button and there are other button also and here is some scrolling and there are other component also let's say there is some other scroll or some other slider whatever it is so some ui elements are here and let's assume this one is a long running task once this button is clicked it will call some functions and procedures and the event routine starts here and let's say it, it ends here and the complete execution takes 10 seconds that means the ui will not respond so once user clicked here the application will be busy so here event queue will receive this click event mouse press and release together there is a click so that click will be dispatched and since there is a handler and that handler runs for a, a long time it's a long running task associated to this uh, button click so we can say the application is uh, processing something and that processing takes uh, 10 seconds so application will be busy for 10 seconds so during this busy period if user performs any of this action the application will not respond why because it is a single thread ui model and when one event is running 
other will not respond so it will wait for the first event to quit or finish its processing so to avoid the uh, i mean uh, here long running process is going on during this long running process itself if user want to type something let's say this is a uh, rich text document uh, container or control component and when some task is going on in the background let's say it takes even more time 60 seconds so during that time itself user want to type something here so without background worker component it will be hard now by using the background worker component we can run this long running task in a separate thread so that's how user will be allowed to type something here say for example this is component a let's consider it as a multi-line text or rich text component and this is a button b associated to a long running task so using background worker component what we can do here is the application as usual it dispatches the events to the ui thread and when we use a background worker component using the background worker component we can run the long running task a 60 second task we can see in a separate thread over thread one let's say this one is called worker thread so now what happens that are ui component right since it is running in a separate thread user can navigate to this um, law, uh, to this multi-line text or rich text component or they can click here and they can move the window so those are all the events right so this is a costly operation say for example if you are clicking here and if you are dragging your mouse the window will move and the mouse event will be produced periodically that means multiple event will get produced when you move your window or when you resize your window that time also multiple event will get produced so what happens since it's running in a separate thread the main thread uh, will respond to this mouse movement and you can see the window is moving without a background worker component uh, the application will hang if you try to move or because it will wait for the 60 second task to get completed all right so that's the purpose of uh, background worker thread and uh, we will see that uh, soon in the um, sub series i mean in the next coming uh, uh, videos we will see all this so this is sub series makes you learn this component this component in the sense background worker component you will also learn the do events also so during the busy task we will request uh, the uh, ui thread to process any other uh, pending queue messages pending even queue messages okay when we go through this sub series you will learn for now uh, this is the background for background worker component by default without using background worker component because of single ui thread model when one event associated to the ui takes time the other event will be queued and it will get dispatched only when the uh, event routine finishes so by using background worker component since the long running task uh, is running in a separate thread the ui thread is free so uh, the queuing i mean the message won't wait in the queue if the uh, message will immediately get uh, dispatched why because the long running task is uh, uh, taken care by a separate uh, uh, thread so we call that as a worker thread and we will span that worker thread through this uh, background worker component so there is no demo here we just learned the basics or the background for background worker component in what situation we need background worker component those stuff uh, we learned here that's all here in this video thank you for uh, watching bye